We've got oil issues. Oil issues are my favorite type of issue to deal with on a rack. And today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly diagnose a bad oil check valve on a rack. So this oil check valve has a 20 PSI rating here, which means that the oil reservoir pressure at all times should be 20 pounds per square inch higher than the suction pressure on the rack. Right now our oil pressure on the reservoir is 40 PSI and our suction pressure is also 40 PSI, meaning we have no differential. Without a differential, we do not have enough pressure to push that oil from the reservoir to the compressors when they need it. So we need to diagnose this oil check valve. How we do that, I have a core tool hooked up to the top of the oil reservoir and a hose hooked up to the discharge gas. Now we're going to front seat the top and the bottom of the oil reservoir as well as the vent line going into the suction line which is coming off the top of the oil check valve. We'll open up the ball valve on our hose and bleed discharge gas into the reservoir which is completely isolated from the system at this point. We'll charge that up to 100 PSI and when we release that charge through the vent line which is coming off the oil check valve back into the suction that reservoir pressure should hold at 60 PSI. If it does not hold at 60 PSI which is 20 pounds above our suction pressure then we know that this rack is bad so we're going to open up that vent line now the reservoir is still isolated other than the vent the vent line being open and if this goes to rack pressure which it has we know this oil check valve is bad and that's it oil check valve is bad thanks for watching